Uh, getting into the industry was, you get a different experience. You get onto, the, like I said, I started working on the mining crews and you become a member of a, a crew which has a real team atmosphere. So you learn to fit in with the different hierarchy and get on with the job. People are quite happy to show you how to do things, uh, especially if you make an effort to learn and show some enthusiasm. They'll show you all sorts of things and learn lots of cool tricks for everyday life as well. Uh, social life on the mine sites is good. Uh, fly in, fly out's a bit different to residential. Fly in, fly out, you get a team camaraderie. Everyone's there over Christmas or public holidays don't really exist. But when you're on days off, it's a work hard, play hard culture. So you're all on days off. You've got five, six days, whatever it may be. And you can go away traveling, lots of good opportunities. And weekdays, there's still the camaraderie, but everyone's generally in a remote location. So everyone gets along well. It's fantastic. Uh, Woodside's taken on 40 graduates this year. Um, they took on 30 last year, which um, I was a part of. And we're a very close, knit group of people. Um, we've got a netball team, um, social sport. We played soccer last few months ago and we play netball now. Um, the Society of Petroleum Engineers also has a, um, a group called the Young Petroleum Professionals. And we met on Tuesday night and they get in a leader from the industry um, to talk about their career and where they came from. And we have a few drinks and, and food and um, gives you a chance to network with all the rest of the young people in the industry, which it's, it's becoming quite a few uh, more of us. Uh, the average age, I think, is 48 or 49 in the industry. So they're really pushing to get a lot of young people in and, and involved and, um, and making it worthwhile for us, which is great.